Hello and welcome to another episode of Legacy of the Void, StarCraft II. We are playing on the Brutal difficulty, and we are on Chapter 2, The Growing Shadow, where uh, Saratul has become the errand boy, and he's going to suppose, supposedly reach the Void Seeker. Let's listen to what Tannis has to say. Zeratul, you must secure the Zelnaga Keystone from James Raynor. My forces will reactivate the Spear of a Doom, a warship that will be invaluable in the battles ahead. May Tassadar's shadow hide you, my friend. So they kind of throw out the Spear of Adun right there. It's kind of like a non sequitur. It's like, I'll be doing this. I'm like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, we're going to control Saratul. What's nice about the Legacy of the Void is they show the achievements ahead of time. We could have actually looked at them right there. So they figure some things out with the uh, campaign as it goes on. Little quality of life improvements, which, you know, are cool. The Void Seeker lies in ruins. What has transpired here? Zerg, protect the Dark Prelate. Mm, the Zerg in this area should have been eradicated. Stalkers, hurry to the Nexus Point nearby and warn our brethren. I must investigate this further. I am the so. We're going to have our little stalkers here. We, move we don't want to lose anything. That would be very unfortunate if we did. I do not think they heal after we get to the base. And what's kind of fun, I, I wish there was like a big bombastic macro mission. Uh, before this little lower key mission that I mentioned last episode. But um, I think the reason for why you have such a small force... Wow. Wow. Anyway, the reason why you have such a small force is you're just basically controlling Zeratul. It's a little personal squad, and I like that. I think that's cool. Once again, we're not losing anything. Wait for our heal shield to slightly regenerate. Okay, that's good enough. Doesn't need to be at full. I just wanted to like start regenerating. Focus particle disruptors upon them. I went fine. I should not have taken as much damage as I did, but it will. Zeratul, the Templar stationed here. I can no longer sense them within the Kala. Is that not impossible? Your kind cannot disappear from the Kala. Unless your nerve cords are severed. Then the impossible has happened. I can no longer sense Artanis. There is only a void in the Kala where he should be. The shadow moves against us, Executor. Artanis is in grave peril. You must raise an army and find him. My face smith, Karax, will help you re-establish this nexus point. Zeratul, save Artanis. You have not enough minerals. Dark Prelate Zeratul, I am Karax of the Kalai cast. Friend Karax, we must establish this nexus as quickly as possible. Unseen. A void pylon. It should be able to summon my Nerezine brothers. Dark Prelate, we answer your call. There is a lot of dialogue being presented at the start. So. You may have noticed there, but I did uh, reload a save. I got to the point where uh, an attack wave came up from behind me and uh, killed my base. So uh, that was uh, fun. That was uh, very fun. Very fun. I sure enjoyed it when it happened. But uh, yeah, they threw out a lot of info from that uh, cutscene over there. I 
I think getting a zealot or two might be prudent, but not yet. We're going to have to get another pylon real soon. We're going to continue to poke. I think that's fine. Get a pylon. Yeah, I see that one all right. Pylon is complete. Let's get a second one. I have not enough minerals. Nine stalkers. Get number ten. Then number uh, eleven real soon. Okay, let's save here, just in case. Because if that attack wave comes again... I did not memorize what time it was supposed to arrive. But it will be soon. Quite sure about that. Zeratul. Yep. The Zerg are moving to attack. Speak of the Rally devil. Your defenses. That did not go that poorly, in my opinion. Let's overwrite that save. That means that if I screw the pooch once again, I will have a decent dropping off point. You have not enough I am here. A final probe, and then I will be done. Took a Baneling to the face. It will. Never mind. I do not need more of these. Let's get another gateway. Another P alone right there. For a bunch of resources right here that I want. That actually puts me in a very good position when it comes to money. So let's get a few more... Units right there. Do this up. Do that up. Okay, we are going to want to go real soon. Let's save again. As you can see, that hive actually trains the uh, attack wave. We're going to try to get this out real quick. Try to bait out the... Uh... That's going pretty well. Don't lose that, please. Thank you. These can actually go like so. You are going to go ahead there. That was not great. I basically lost all these stalkers right here. Still, I survived the attack and I wiped out one of the hives. I have a bunch of money, so stalkers and zealots. Thank you. You're going to go and adventure, see what there is to see. I think this means that the attack waves are slightly weaker, but I could be wrong. Um, uh, honestly, stalkers are the way to go. Okay, I think we can just push at this point. But yeah, lo losing like seven stalkers almost for free, not a great move. And here we go. 
Ah, da hoch. Yeah, so we're Vespi and Gas starved at this point. I still think we have enough Stalkers that'll probably be fine. I think at this point there won't be any more Zerg attacks because we destroyed the Hive training them. Could be wrong though. Save once more. Not having, um, not having a lot of HP on a bunch of our stalkers makes them quite weak, especially when the shields are gone. They're basically tissue paper. Okay, so there is actually another Zerg Hive that I did not know about. Oh, yikes. Okay, I definitely need zealots. I need more forces, please. Pretty, pretty, please. I can probably kite the uh, ultra. Let's set up a little bit of a concave right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Shoot the boy. Uh, yikes. We're going to have to get a few zealots. Yeah. Mostly stalkers when we can, and then a few zealots. Oh my god. No. 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 I am the I am the heart of darkness. Very well. This appears to be the last void pylon in the area. From the shadows we come. Okay, this is a lot more Vespine. I think, yeah, there is like an ultralisk cavern or something, right? Could be wrong. We don't mind our zealots getting killed for reasons that will be uh, evident later. We could, I guess, just move past this, but, uh... Okay, we're at the base. Are you kidding me? I guess it's this stupid immortal right here. It's goddamn immortal. The second one, not great. I still think I can win this, but uh, yeah, that hurt. That really hurt. Thanks. Sense your presence. The collar is filled with rage. My mind is being consumed. Artanis, you must hold on. We are coming for you. Your lies are meaningless, purposeless. I grant you salvation. is here on ire he has wrested control of the kala the templar have fallen with our nerve cords severed only we nerazine remain unaffected it falls to us to halt this madness brothers so i have some problems with this storyline i'm not gonna lie i find it kind of in the way
this will take forever so we can talk um this was never established in the prophecy missions from wings of liberty there the protoss of all types fought amon so uh this happening is kind of ridiculous in my opinion and i think we're honestly just supposed to run but uh i'm just gonna kill some zealots because why not okay And also, I mean, they were kind of, they did not give us a lot of time for uh, establishing the... Fury and rage. Here we are. I don't know, not a huge fan of this plot point. Well, that was that. A very anime cinematic, in my opinion.
Bladesmith Carax. I have been looking for you. Artanis. Oh, praise the Your gods. Your They must be removed. It was done by the Dark Templar. I am free of the Kala's corruption. Are there others? I have saved all that I could. Come. We must escape this world before time runs out. Escape? How? The Spear of Adun still rests beneath the ruins of Kor Shakal. Its generators are ancient, but a phase smith of your ability will know how to bring them online. The Spear of Adun? I... I am honored to have the opportunity. This is fortune we cannot ignore. Indeed. Come, we must go at once. Okay, so we'll get to that next time. But yeah, no, that was... Uh, all the missions are a bit more difficult than I remember them to be so far. Uh, yeah, it is uh, Legacy of the Wood. Quite challenging. But, so... <laughs> I don't know what to say. Saratul is dead. It's kind of insane. I will say... I always thought that the uh, Protoss units not leaving corpses was because the Protoss were... You, just as they can teleport units in, they were just kind of beaming them out. I didn't think they would literally turn to dust when they died but i mean uh, it's blizzard's ip so they can do what they want this mission is actually going to be our second macro mission and it's one where we actually start building some better stuff there's some parallels to uh oh, zero hour that's what i was thinking of but yeah we're going to start that next week on saturday and i upload content every day of the week starcraft saturdays warcraft on wednesdays and probably thursdays and other stuff on the other days so stick around for that i hope you Enjoy and uh, subscribe if you're interested and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.